So a lot of times signage is part of your lease. And so some of the things you want to consider with a sign are as follows. Your lease is going to basically say how wide and how much area you can have above, above the retail location. So that's one of the things with a great sign company is that hopefully you can find a sign company that's already been approved with your particular county, city, municipality, town, because they would have already gone down to the county and asked for a sign permit and are aware of the process. So basically with signage, it normally requires a sign permit with the city. There's two different types of signs that you can have. A lot of times if the letters are cut individually and they make it tin or metal out of them or steel, then those are called channel letters. And so each one is, is lit up individually. The other one is called a cloud sign. And so this one right there is the bottom part of it is called a cloud sign because it just basically has one illuminated part. Um, there's a lot of cloud signs you'll see every day. Companies such as Family Dollar and et cetera will have cloud signage. So that's one of the things you want to consider. Um, but again, have you a good sign person? Also, you want to make sure that you, um, whether you use channel or whether you use cloud signs, you want to make sure that the illumination is good. We use white, bright letters with red, a red backlight. And so that means that even, even at times in the night, you should be able to see that and you should be able to see it from far away. I think this particular unit, we're going to have two foot letters. So um, we, we've got some at least 24 inches that we can work with from a height and our surface area would be less than what we need for this particular unit. So again, the tip here is to have you a good sign man read the lease. You don't want to get in a situation with the landlord where, of course, you didn't get their approval or that you have the wrong size and dimensions for a particular sign.